Appeal is the twelfth and final of the twelve animation principles listed in Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston's book, The Illusion of Life Disney Animation. Appeal is the perfect way to end the principles because everything boils down to it. Appeal doesn't necessarily mean that something is pretty, but that something is interesting to look at. This makes Appeal the most subjective of the animation principles. Beast, from Beauty and the Beast, is not pretty, but he still has appeal. The same goes for enemies or villains. Prettiness can certainly be used to add appeal, but appeal can also be achieved using dark imagery or grotesque elements. Appeal is something to always strive for, to make the overall shot something the viewer actually wants to watch. Just like with the tenth principle, exaggeration, appeal is an all-encompassing concept that can be applied to every aspect of the shot. When it comes to character design, simpler designs that can be broken down into basic shapes have more appeal by default. They're easier to look at and identify, but character design runs deeper than just a character's appearance. They must also have an appealing personality that can evoke an emotional connection from the viewer, whether it be positive or negative. If the viewer hates your villain for reasons based on their personality rather than bad or lack of design, you've successfully created an appealing villain. Even if it won't be addressed in your shot or scene, give your character a backstory. This will define who your character is and why they chose to do certain things. The more you understand your character, the easier it will be for you as the animator to project yourself onto them, animating with a real empathetic connection drawn from your own life experiences that will in turn make your characters feel that much closer to being real. And feeling real gives an immense amount of appeal. Next in appeal is composition. How clear are your silhouettes? Are you watching out for the rule of thirds or the Fibonacci sequence to draw the eye to what you want the audience to focus on? Does your lighting set the proper mood? And is your camera angle showing all of the important information without any extra fluff muddying up the image? Once you've thought about all of these things, you should have a decent setup for an appealing shot. The next thing to do is to animate it. The biggest way to achieve appeal in your animation is through clean, exaggerated flowing arcs. Every part of the body has its own arc. Sometimes their actions are connected, and sometimes the arcs are complementary yet separate. Anytime the eye views a sharp edge, whether that be looking at a character's design or a motion arc, the eye slows down in a jarring way because it's an unpredictable flow. By keeping your arc smooth, the viewer's eye will keep up at the pleasing pace you want it to. We can also add appeal to our animation through asymmetry. Symmetry is unnatural. Even the human face has minor differences between the left and right side. Because it's unnatural in nature, it diminishes our basic appeal. Breaking up our poses to complement the overall line of action will add a lot for very little. The same thought process can be applied to all of the other animation principles. When it comes down to it, what we strive for as animators is to create something that appeals to our audience. Keep this in the back of your mind as you continue learning, and you may just discover new reasons for appeal for yourself. My final two cents worth of advice is to develop an all-consuming curiosity for things both exotic and ordinary. Read, study, practice, delve, probe, investigate, and above all, be flexible, keep an open mind. The world is changing fast. Don't get caught in the corner of the ring. Keep moving and have fun. Take it from me. It's worth it. With that, we've officially reached the end of all 12 animation principles. There are plenty of other concepts out there to cover and discover in the future, but embarking on the never-ending journey to master these 12 is crucial to the animator's process. Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston are brilliant animators who made a massive impact on the foundation for all the new animators of today, and they were completely accurate in choosing the 12 concepts they did to make up the 12 principles of animation. I hope this series helped even a little bit at furthering your understanding of these principles, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.